Um, thank you for humiliating me and making me cry. Uh, you know that I'm a control freak, so I thought everything was done. I thought I made it through, but guess what? I didn't. So, uh, yeah, screw you. <laughs> um, I prepared some words because I uh, write things sometimes, and I need to today. Listen! And I wanted to uh, get them correct, so. Drag has been a major vehicle for my success. Artistically, emotionally, it's helped me make friendships. It's given me an outlet for self-expression. And it's provided me a tool for bettering my community. I, I need to ask everyone here at Charlie's to support your local drag queens just like I've been loved and supported. Support your established queens, but support even the new queens and kings and drag artists that come in because fostering them is how they get better, which will further our community, and at the very least, you'll end up entertained. Yeah. I've been happy to share the youth miss title to better my community. One of the good things that I've been able to do is start a drag queens reading to kids event at the library. I'm hoping that they will continue the amazing program. Um, I think I think that community service, like reading time with the queens, is part of being a title holder. What good is holding a title if you aren't going to do anything with it? And when I say do something with your title, I don't mean just fundraising for the next pageant. The truth is the queer pageant is for us. Its singular purpose is to give queer people the moment in the spotlight, as I'm sure you've seen. And this is fine. But if we do nothing but prance around, showing up at functions, listing our titles to everyone, doing our song, collecting our tips, and then going home, we have failed our community. Just like the pageant belongs to the pageant contestants, the pageant winners belong to the community. What that looks like for you may not be a library event, but one of the ways we are going to get better as a community is if we as queer people go out and contribute our part. Yeah. Yeah. Being, being part of the Southeastern Idaho Gay Pride pageant has not been a walk in the park, but I have been glad to take up the extra opportunities that the title has given me. And I wouldn't even have had the title if it weren't for the one and only leader supreme of our community, Spike Nagai. She suggested that I run for the pageant and let me know that it was even happening. She's my actual Michelle Obama. And I'm glad to call that myself. an inside joke. There were a lot of inside jokes that y'all didn't get up on. Uh, Spike. Please do not stop helping young ones. I'm a young one, you've helped me find your way, it's been, find my way, it's been difficult, but I honestly would not change a thing. It's made me a better person. Thank you. When I was a young queer boy in Middleton, Idaho, there was an incredibly low point in my life where I was misunderstood. And I didn't really know what to do with the feelings that I had inside me, and it manifested one day in crying on my mother's bed, trying to find the words to explain that I just wanted a friend. And I remember at that point, I remember us praying on her bed together. And I remember asking God to give me a best friend. That's all I wanted. I'm 13, I was 13 then, I'm 21 now. And I'm surrounded by an entire community of best friends. When I prayed for a best friend, I never knew that this is what God had in store for me. And now, I'm leaving you people. My best friends. And I don't know what God has in store for me again. But I remember that through you, my prayer was answered. 
Thank you.